Detroit now home to all the major sports. One step closer now to a new pro soccer team. Good evening or good afternoon, I should say, and thank you for joining us for Local 4 News at noon. I'm Everett Cassidy. Wayne County and the city of Detroit have reached a deal, a deal to swap pieces of land. It's a key hurdle in the county's deal with Dan Gilbert's Rock Ventures to bring a pro soccer team to the city. Local 4's Jason Colthorpe joins us now live with an update this afternoon. Jason. Everett, yeah, it's a key step for sure. And in this whole plan for us to get that soccer team, there are a lot of key steps and a lot of big pieces that need to fall into place. I want to just kind of explain why this one is. I'm in front of the Lincoln Hall of Justice. I've got I-75 to my right, East Warren behind this. And as you look down this whole building, this is why this piece of land was so important for the county to get from the city. All of this needs to go so it can rebuild an entire criminal justice complex all on this property. That's another huge step, but this land swap today is what makes it possible. The land swap is a key piece of Dan Gilbert's pro soccer team plan. It's a tentative deal right now between the city and the county that would need city council approval. But as it stands, the county gets the DDOT property bounded by I-75 and East Warren, and the city gets the Old American Motors Corporation headquarters on the west side. Both sides have agreed the properties are similar in value, making this trade possible. Now, once this goes through, the plan is for Rock Ventures to build a new criminal justice complex on the DDOT property for Wayne County and then build the new soccer stadium and mixed use complex on the land where the Frank Murphy Hall of Justice and the unfinished jail are on Gratiot. A lot of moving pieces to this, but a couple of footnotes to that. Number one, keep in mind, it's a tentative deal. And I also want to point out on the other side of this, on the back end of this block is a DDOT transportation area that would be unaffected by this. So that's not going to be knocked down as part of this. And also remember there, the county has always had a backup plan to this soccer stadium deal if that part of it doesn't go through. Remember, they have to get this jail built. Coming up later on Local 4, we're going to explain how this all affects that because the county has a hard deadline looming just two and a half weeks from now as part of that. And we'll tell you all about that later today, Everett. It all sounds very interesting, Jason, but is there any word on what the city will do with the old AMC headquarters? Oh, great question, because, uh, yeah, that's a nice piece of property for the city to get. And again, uh, it feels like they're equal uh, properties, but the city wants to move right ahead with that, possibly hmm. redeveloping it. And like the mayor says, this is a win-win. And actually, when you think about everyone involved, it, it could be a win-win-win. Yeah, right. it certainly could. We'll be following this one and tuning in a little bit later. Jason, thank you.